Dallas has a lead up in you know, Shield Fever this week. What's it been like? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Um, you know, there's good good excitement around the team. Um, we've talked about it this week. We've got a pretty special opportunity um, to go down there and try and yeah win that Shield, which is a um, pretty special thing in New Zealand rugby. So. Uh, yeah, we've tried to this week just try and focus on the game more, just try and um, you know, just get our preparation right, do the same things we do every week. But yeah, there's definitely a good excitement level going so has, around the team. So it hasn't changed too much the, the build up then as you normally would. No, no, nothing nothing too much has changed. Um, yeah, we've tried like I said, try to keep everything pretty much the same. Um, but obviously yeah, we've talked about that, that special opportunity we have to, to go down there and um, yeah, do the job. Um, but yeah, tried to keep everything pretty similar. What does the Shield, as, as a young fellow, I mean, what is this, Canterbury's job, has got a rich history with the Shield. What, is, what sort of springs to mind when you sort of think of the Randall Shield? Yeah, I guess um, probably just uh, thinking thinking back when I was younger, just watching watching the teams playing and um, winning it and holding on to it was pretty special, watching Canterbury. So I guess, yeah, something that I've always, always looked at wanting to do. So yeah, it's definitely pretty special getting the opportunity to, to have a go. As a, as a whole, how, how would you sort of sum up this rookie campaign for you? Yeah, it's been real special. Um, obviously, yeah, like I said, something that I've wanted to wanted to be doing, wanted to be playing in the red and black jersey, and every opportunity I get has been, been real cool, and you know, with a lot of experience in the team, um, learning from guys like Tim Bateman in the back line. Um, yeah, it's been the best environment for me to try and yeah, keep learning, keep growing, and really enjoying it. Jo Joe said a few weeks ago that you, your future's definitely in the, in the midfield, but we're seeing you on the wing. <laughs> yeah. How that? Is this the first for you really playing on the wing? Yeah, yeah, it has been. Yeah, this is probably the yeah, first time I've been really out on the wing. Um, it's been good. No, lots, lots of learnings out there. Um, got a few good guys like Josh McKay's teaching me the ropes out there, so. Um, yeah, it's been good, um, good learning, but I'm enjoying it, so yeah, it's going good. You, you trained with the trained with the Crusaders this year, was it the first year to sort of, you and been in the academy, can you just give us a bit of the background there? Yeah, yeah, been in the academy for the last um, three years, and then yeah, trained pre-season with the Crusaders this year, which is real cool, being in that environment, um, been able to learn from them as well, and yeah, gave me good good stead um, going into this, this season through club and everything else, so yeah, it was a really good, good start to the year, getting to be involved in that. Did you actually think that the Shield Challenge would eventuate at this end of the season? Otago Championship side, they've pieced together some pretty good defences, haven't they? Yeah, they definitely have. They're going, they're, they're going good. Um, I guess it's something that we've thought about, that we that we wanted, you know, we wanted the opportunities. I definitely did. Um, and yeah, to be able to, you know, this late in the season, to be able to have a shot at it is, yeah, real special. They've had some great finishing, haven't they? Corroy, uh, quite remarkable. The defence, you've had a big focus on that this week? Yeah, definitely. We've, we've identified some of, their, some of their threats, especially out wide. So, yeah, we've looked at ways that we can, you know, try and shut them down. Um, so, yeah, we'll definitely be looking to do that. Is this your first time on the in, indoor stadium down there? Uh, I've played there once before, but, yeah, pretty, pretty new to it. So, um, also talks about what, what that brings down there at that stadium. So uh, it'd be nice and noisy down there in the Otago crowd, I'd say. So uh, yeah, looking forward to it.